Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Uh, I just felt it in my spirit today to read from Romans 2. God will judge everyone. There's Romans 2. God will judge everyone. And then uh, I'll talk briefly about it after I finish reading 2 and 3. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest does it the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to, the, to truth against them which committed such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and dost the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God. Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness, and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by pa patient continence in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are continence and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation, and anguish upon every soul of man that doth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these have, having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, that conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel, behold, thou art called a Jew, and rest, restest in the law, and makest thy boast of God, and knowest his will, and approvest the things that are more excellent being instructed out of the law, and art confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, which hast the form of knowledge and of the truth of the, in the law. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself. Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery. Thou that Adorest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boasts of the law, though breaking the law dishonest, thou, thou God, excuse me, I had one of the moments there, I had to recheck what I said. <laughs> For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. For circumcision verily profit. If thou keep the law, but if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it is fulfilled the law, judge thee, who by the lead letter and circumcision thus transgress the law for he is not a jew which is one outwardly neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh 
but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. All right, we're going to keep going to three right here, and then I'm going to stop right there at uh, verse 20. What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness condemned the right righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid. For when, for then, how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? And not rather, excuse me, as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, Let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved, both Jews and Gentiles, that they are all under sin, as it is written. There is none righteous, not, no, not one. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doth good. No, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now, we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped. And all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. All right. The reason why I brought this up is, you know, I've been seeing videos and of uh, people cursing, uh, cursing certain people in politics and stuff. And I don't agree with these people at all. Or, uh, you know... LGBTQ people getting angry with street preachers and street preachers doing the same. People judging each other based off of color. Uh, you know, people judging each other based off of vaccinated, unvaccinated. People judging each other based off shot, no shot. The plain and simple truth is we are all sinners. And, you know, I'm probably the worst one. I've fallen from grace so many times it's unreal. But, you know, uh, I try to better myself every day. I I walk away from my sin. I still have temptation. Uh, you know, no one is perfect. But when you go out and you're just cursing at other people, instead of trying to lead them down the right path, you know, that's wrong. So what we need to do is image ourselves more after Christ and less after ourselves if that makes sense uh, don't but you know we're supposed to mirror Christ if you're a Christian if you're Jewish you're supposed to mirror Christ you're supposed to mirror God you're supposed to follow the law but you know no one's perfect at all and in those two passages I just read that affirms everything there is no one that is perfect the only one that was perfect was Jesus Christ, which died for our sins. Stop judging other people. You know, stand up for what you believe in, but do it with meekness. 
uh, because the words of your mouth can either make or break someone. And uh, I'm guilty of this more than anyone. Uh, I need to watch my mouth and what I say to other people as well. I'm a sinner, just like anybody else. But, you know, it's turning around and walking away from your sin is what you need to do. And seek Jesus Christ. Seek baptism. Seek repentance. Seek God. And the way to do this is through prayer, fasting. Pick up your Bible. Read your Bible. Uh, I have learned a lot since God came in my life. Mm. And uh, I owe everything to God. Because for the simple fact that, uh, I mean, I've committed so many sins over time, it's unreal. And I should be in hell, honestly. I really should. But God loves us so much that he's willing to chase us and willing to help us work through our issues and seek repentance. And work our sins out. So uh, stop judging each other. Stop cussing at each other instead. Offer them. Offer them Jesus Christ. Which lives in your heart. You heard it in his words. You either have a circumcised heart. Or you have an uncircumcised heart. Uh. Mine has been uncircumcised and mine has been circumcised. And the only way that can happen is through Jesus Christ. Uh, by seeking him, by following him, by trying, by turning away from our sin, adultery, you know, uh, wrath, profanity, uh, lasciviousness, uh, several things. You choose it, murder, whatever. Lying, stealing. You know, uh, put your sins down and walk away from them and seek God. Seek a better life for yourself instead of, you know, sin that leads to death. Because all sin leads to death. And, uh, you know, that's not something you want to wish on someone else or yourself. Instead of cursing at the problem, try to fix the problem by offering them Christ. Instead of trying to hurt someone, try to help someone. Watch what you say to others. Uh, as we judge people, so shall we be judged. And that is true. Heaven is real. Hell is real. God is definitely real. And so is Satan. And, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain it to you people. But like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner myself. I know I've been doing this for a very long time. And uh, if you haven't sought Jesus Christ, seek him. if you haven't repented, repent. The only way to the Father is through the Son. And uh, y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. And don't forget, everyone is sinners. Stop condemning other people. Start trying to help these people. So, Jesus Christ was our example that was set for us. And uh, that's who we need to transform ourselves into to make this a better world. You want tyrants and people that are doing evil to undo people to go away? Become, you can't become Jesus Christ, but become like Christ and start treating people with respect and dignity. Love your neighbor, but most of all, love God first. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day.